This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Some rumors flying around Lexington today regarding running back Boom Williams, who did not take part in practice. Reports of Boom no longer on the team were denied by head coach Mark Stoops, who had this to say following today's practice, quote, I'm just here to tell you again, Boom is going through a personal issue and we're here to help him in any way we can. When he gets some things resolved and situated, he'll be back out there. Until then, we'll support him any way we can, end quote. Stoops would comment no further on this issue this afternoon. Well, many college football analysts believe if Kentucky is going to climb the SEC rankings, they must start beating teams one by one. Its win over South Carolina almost assuredly left the Wildcats over the Gamecocks, and their win over Missouri has gone a long way with changing the program's national perception. But head coach Mark Stoops is not really concerned with any of that. I don't really get into all that. You know that because, shoot, we, we just try to win games. We got our hands full trying to win games. And they're so important and they're valuable. That's why everybody, everybody understands that. And we certainly do. So I really don't get, I don't, I really don't have an opinion. I'm rambling about it right now, but I really don't care. <laughs> I, I, I really don't, I don't care what the perception is with East or West or whatever. All I want to do is get better, you know, win, a, win some games. Kentucky's Week 5 opponent, Eastern Kentucky, earned an impressive win over Austin P last week and did so without its two main rushers. Reigning Conference Player of the Year, Dyshawn Mobley and Kentavis Hopkins were both sidelined with an injury but the Colonel still rushed for more than 130 yards and three touchdowns in the win. You, you want to talk about a uh, comforting feeling to, uh, you know, be on the sideline and you see a, you know, conference player of the year in sweats. And then you see the guy that uh, has been our best running back through all of camp in the first two games, Contavious Hopkins, got an ice bag on his knee and you still feel good about you can run the ball. Uh, that's that's comforting feeling. University of the Cumberland senior Wendell Williams earned his third player of the week award this week. For the third time this season, Williams was named the Mid-South Conference Special Teams Player of the Week for his performance in the battle for the Brass Lantern against rival Union. Williams returned a punt 66 yards for a touchdown in the win. Well, coming up, we name our team of the week and we preview this week's game of the week between Pike County Central and number seven Paintsville. Our Appalachian Wireless game of the week back in Paintsville this Thursday night, the number seven Tigers hosting Pike Central. Jamie McCracken talked to both coaches and a couple of players this afternoon and has the preview. Respect is earned, not given. So. We're not asking anybody to give us respect, and it's got to be earned. So we'll either earn it or we won't. So that's our choice. It would be, I think, really big for this school because we're kind of making history beating them. I mean, you know, we know they can score points. You know, we, can, we know they can move the ball. Defensively, we got some work to do. I mean, we got our hands full. Big lefty and UK commit, looking for the end zone, trying to get there, cash is in. These Tigers do have nine lives, and they're the kings of Class A tonight. It's, it's fun. I love playing with my brothers out on Friday nights and be on TVs. Even more fun. The bottle game's awesome. We love going back and watching it, but we know it's a new game. The receivers just go get it. Lofts it into the end zone, has a man out there. It's caught. Touchdown, Pike Central. It's Hunter Clark. <laughs> you look at Cash, Phelps, Trimble. Got Morris out on the edge as well. I mean, we got our hands full. Coming in on Sunday, you know, it felt really weird uh, going out practicing, you know, like it was a Monday practice. And uh, like right now, it feels like it's Wednesday. I'm hoping it's not a fun game. I'm hoping it's a, a real tight game, 7-0, 6-7-6. Seven, seven, I don't care. As long as, as long as we can get the W. They beat us twice out of the two appearances we played them, so it'll be a big win, especially in the Apple Bowl. Our biggest thing is we, uh, we can't overrun plays, can't overrun runners. They like, to, they like to cut back a lot. You worry about the weather, too. You know, I have to, you know, it's supposed to be, according to what I read, 58 and rainy. Hey, you never know what's going to happen then. So, yeah, everyone's going to watch us and be in the game of the week. I know KSR's coming and 
Coach Stoops being here, I think it's be a fun game. That's the exciting part about, you know, having the game of the week is you're touching some, some person may see us play that never gets to see Paintsville play. It is now time to announce our team of the week from week five of the high school football season. The Middlesbrough Yellow Jackets beat Harlan 28-21 last week, earning their first win of the season and in doing so handed the Green Dragons their first loss. Running back Logan Caps rushed for 145 yards, two touchdowns on 15 carries and Dylan Pratt returned a fumble 76 yards for a touchdown in the seven point win. And Tanner, you heard Luke Trimble say it. Uh, head coach Mark Stoops and DJ Elliott expected to be in Johnson County Thursday night for the game of the week. By helicopter, too. By helicopter. Excited to get there and call that one. Josh, thanks. We'll wrap it up after this.